Hello guys, so Code Havoc here, back with another video again. So today I'm going to be showing you on how someone could um, hack into your Android device and monitor all, all your SMSs, possibly. So, so the first process is going to be that we're going to be um, installing Ameth into our Cal Linux. So as you can see over here, we got all the instructions. So we're going to get over to binary setup link. So as you can see it loaded up and when you scroll down you can see that there's also the um, installation instruction for Cal Linux so from this guide we can actually see that we need Java 11 so JDK 11 is what we need so for that um, we're going to now um, see and we're going to navigate into our downloads and as you can see we got uh, JDK 11 which we need to actually download from the Oracle website so here as you can see I already have one I'm going to now extract it with this tar command and now when I hit enter as you can see I'm um, we got the uh, folder so here what we can do is next move this folder into our opt so if we're going to move this folder into opt directory so as you can see this is the command And also make sure to not forget to put sudo and then type the password. So once that is done, we're going to get over to opt now. And when I list out, as you can see, we got JDK 11. So I just um, navigate to it. And then inside the bin folder. Now we need to type this command echo with the dollar sign and pwd slash java. So this is going to be our um, path that we're going to set. As you can see when I list out, there's already a file named Java. So as you can see here, um, when I'm typing it, as you can see there, Java, that's the file. So we're executing it, all right? So we're going to set the path with the help of sudo update alternatives. So, okay, just a minute. Here, what we're going to do is type sudo altern update alternatives, and then here we need to put two dashes and then type install as the option. And so we're going to type user uh, and slash bin. So, user slash bin, and then we're going to type Java. And since we're installing Java, we're also going to put this, which is uh, inside between those quotes, Java itself. And then the path that we just copied, which was this. Just to make, make sure again, this is the one, we're going to paste it. Now that it's done, I'm going to hit enter. Oh, sorry, we're going to put two at the end. So then we're going to hit enter. So there should be an option to when we're configuring Java now. So, I almost forgot to put 2 as the number, so we're going to type sudo update alternatives double dash config and then java. So we're going to configure our java which is going to be jdk11. So this is the one that we need to configure. So for this you're just going to hit uh, the number 2. Sorry, uh, yeah it's not 2, it's 1 because as you can see it was on selection one so now that is done we're going to clear the screen so as you can see over here we got the java version as 11 now the next thing we're going to need to do is install Ameth into our Cal Linux so as you can see we get it from the release section and this is the file ending with .deb so we're going to click on it to download so it's downloading so I'm just going to skip this video since it's going to take some time I don't want to waste uh, the minutes here so okay we're going to make this video as short as possible as you can see we got the file so we're just going to execute it with the command that is being provided from the website itself so 
we're going to move to download as you can see we got the dot dev file the next thing as you can see over here we have a instruction to you know execute the file in order to install it so we're going to copy and then paste it as you can see and when we hit enter this should begin the installation process make sure your super user do when you're doing this so here we might face a problem while installing as you can see we got an error here so basically what you can do is I'm um, just to make sure we're going to um we're going to type this command from count and give the access to the downloads folder and then we're going to install it again just to properly make sure that there is no error now when you check I'm um, by typing AMETH here as you can see you have this program installed so all you just need to do is execute AMETH now you can do it from the terminal or you can open it from the applications uh, section itself so but here I'm just going to type this command I'm gonna open it up by I'm executing it so I'm gonna hit enter now and this should open up the AMETH application as you can see it go opened up and the next thing we're going to need to do is I'm um, so here I'm just going to do some brief explanation here so here you can see as you can see um, you got the APK boulder you got the options to you know configure your payload and for the victims tab you can uh, listen the, to the ports that you need okay so what we're going to do is now now that I've taste tested on uh, the Ameth, we're going to now execute and open up Ameth again. So I've just confirmed that it actually works properly. So now that we're going to test out the Ameth finally, so we're going to set our port to 4487 and we're going to listen. And we're going to need to set the same port on APK Boulder. But as you can see, I already got the connection since I had tested it out on my phone just previously. So here, we're going to first, um, yeah, put in the IP. So I'm going to test out with my local IP. You can do the uh, port forwarding process as well with the port map. So for now, I'm just going to try out with this one from the ifconfig command so here you can paste the same thing and here we're going to set the port this to the same one which is 4487 to the same same port that we're listening in okay so i've selected sms and storage as the permission request and you can also bind with the original application if you want so now we're going to build it as you can see it's already starting to build and the only thing left to do was sign in and we have the uh, location to the apk file so this is the path and we're going to copy that one and the next thing we're going to need to do is i'm um, start our apache server so that's what we're going to do basically so i'm just going to clear this out this terminal and just to make things clear here and simpler so we're going to start our apache 2 server which is going to be the folder of var ww slash html that's going to be the folder so here i'm going to type the password again this time it was correct now we're going to move that um this is not the one so we're going to copy this again and paste it okay so it's not doing the work let me see why i'm making uh, the mistake okay so Basically, I think I need to type control plus C, just control plus C, then paste it. So I made the mistake again. This time I'm just going to type control plus C. As you can see, I just straight up copied it and then pasted the uh, path to the apk file which is our payload and then we're going to move it into our var www html so make sure you uh, then do it with the sudo command also you need to enter the path 
you can rename the payloads if you want as I'm doing right now just payload.apk and then with sudo you're going to hit enter so here I'm going to now type ifconfig one more time as you can see this is going to be the uh, IP for the Apache 2 service as well so that is one thing and when we're in the victims tab I'm going to click on listen when I execute the payload so here as you can see I'm um, we got this as the Apache 2 server uh, so we're going to type the same thing here 192 the 168 .93 with ending with 129 slash payloads dot apk which we had renamed you know the payload so when I hit enter I got the option to download when I keep it and then when I open all you need to do now is install so that's basically it when you open it up and hide the icon and open Google Play it should now give us back the connection here so when I listen as you can see that's how you can now gain access into the SMS's so you can even send SMS if you want to a number or you can yes see and read the SMS list but since we don't have any SMS in my phone that is why you're not able to see that uh, it's empty so you can also see the payload.apk file which we had downloaded inside the storage so that's how you can um, you can also stop it like that if you want the ports that you were listening on to so when you listen again you should receive back the connection after some time so let me pause until see until I see when I receive back the connection so as you can see I've got the connection so it's also just to remind you, it's also persistent now just for the reminder this video is just for education purposes only I do not um, encourage any misuse or anything illegal uh, and again I do understand that this payload only works up to some versions of Android so for the higher versions of Android I'm going to be making a separate video in the coming future so just to get updated um, so that you don't miss out please make sure to like uh, and subscribe and then hit the notification bell uh, and that should be pretty much it for this video so that's it thank you for watching